With Touch DRO, finding the edges or the centerline of a part is quick and easy. It has a dedicated indicate workpiece function that works with an electronic touch probe or a manual edge finder. Let's first take a quick tour of the user interface and then look at a few ways to use it. The stylus diameter field is used to set the size of the edge finder. The two buttons right below are used to change between inside and outside edges. Going down, this field shows the position of the new zero point, also called origin or datum. The X and Y edge buttons let you select where the zero point will be set. Right now the buttons are disabled because we have not indicated any edges. Let's jump to the left side of the window for a moment. There, we have the four edge selection buttons. We will see how they work a bit later. For now, let's pretend that we located the left edge of our part. When I tap this button, notice that the left option turns green. This means that we can now set the origin to be the left edge of the part. And now, we can pick one of the edges or the center line of the part as our datum. The Y axis works the same way, so we won't go over it. Finally, in the next section we can select the absolute or incremental coordinate system. Let's see how all this works in practice. Let's indicate the front left corner of this 1, 2, 3 block. We will use a standard edge finder. Let's bring up the indicate workpiece dialog again. You will need to set the diameter when you use this function for the first time. Mine is 2 tenths of an inch. Let's start with the left edge. When the edge finder pops out, don't move the axis. Tap the left edge button in touch DRO. The left edge position is now locked in. Now we can repeat this for the front edge. This time, when the edge finder pops out, tap the front edge. Notice that the left and the near buttons are now active. The edge location label shows the location of the newly located edge. When you need to clear an edge, press and hold the corresponding button. To set the origin, make sure the absolute option is checked and tap set origin. And now, we simply move the table until the X and Y readout show zeros. And the spindle will be right over the corner of the 1, 2, 3 block. Let's do a more interesting example. Let's say we need to drill a hole in the center line of this cylindrical part. This time, we will use a touch probe to do the job. We will cover touch probe setup and configuration in a separate video. For now, let's bring up the indicate workpiece function again. When we tap the left edge button, it switches to the probing animation. This means that touch DRO is waiting for probe signal. We can now switch to the milling machine and indicate the face of our part. To get best accuracy, it's important to move the probe at a consistent and steady speed. When the probe touches the part, touch DRO will beep. A long beep means that the edge is located. You probably noticed that I touched the edge three times. This is because my DRO is configured to average three readings for better accuracy. Now let's find the center line. The part sits pretty low in the vise, so we can't touch the sides. Instead, let's switch the Y axis to external mode and indicate the vise jaws instead. We will start with the front jaw, so tap the front edge button. Just like before, I will touch the front jaw three times. Done. Same thing for the rear jaw. Touch DRO already selected center for the Y axis, so we just need to tap set origin. And now we can move the table to 1.5 inches on X axis and zero on Y axis. We will be right over the spot where we need to drill the hole. Finally, let's take a quick look at the additional features in the plus version of Touch DRO. The add subdatum button will save the located coordinate to the subdatum memory instead of setting the origin. The magic wand button turns on the automatic edge selection function. Together, they add a convenient way to quickly digitize existing parts. Here is how they work. Let's say that we need to find the locations of these three corners and the center of the hole. 
and we want our zero point to be at this corner. Let's bring up the Indicate Workpiece dialog and tap the magic wand button. Now we just touch the part with the stylus. Touch the arrow will figure out which edge to set. And now just tap the Set Origin button. We have our zero point. Let's go back to the dialog and add the other three corners and the center of the hole to the subdatum list. To add the corners, we simply touch the edges with the stylus and tap the Add Subdatum button. The DRO will add current coordinate to the list and reset the edge selection buttons. The corners are done. Let's now take care of the center of the hole. For that, we need to switch to internal mode. Tap the X and Y external slash internal buttons and re-enable the auto mode. Now we simply touch the hole on four sides with the stylus. And done. Tap add subdatum and then cancel to close the window. As you can see, we added four new subdatums to the list. Let's check how they look in the graphical view. Looks good. We can see four corners and the whole center next to the blue crosshairs. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.